road, yeah, ready. There's a train coming. You don't need no baggage, you just climb on board. All you need is faith to hear the deal's coming. You don't need no ticket, you just think. Hey folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to play People Get Ready, the Curtis Mayfield classic. It's a wonderful song and uh, this is my interpretation of the tune. If you want to download the tab for my exact performance of the song that's also linked below with all the electric guitar solos and whatnot, you can do so. Uh, if you'd like to download the backing track, which I made specifically for this lesson, you can do so just down below. It's free. And uh, I hope you'll check it out. And there's also a chord chart there for free as well. But I can't give away any of the melodic information because I'd be breaching copyright. So we're in the key of G major. I do play this with a capo on the third fret in my recorded version. I think it just depends on where you'd like to sing it. This is not a solo guitar arrangement. This is meant to have a vocal playing along, singing along. It sounds a bit like this. So the way this lesson is going to go is I'm going to show you the acoustic part first and it's going to be pretty basic. So even if you're a late beginner, I think you'll be able to play this. It's, it's a repetitive song, it just has the same chord progression that goes over and over again. And the chords are great, they're beautiful chords, they're gospel R&B chords. This song of course was written by Curtis Mayfield in 1965. And um, yeah, after I show you the acoustic part, we'll go into some ideas of how I would solo over the song, playing electric guitar like I did on my performance version of the song. So, even though I'm capoed up, when I play this usually I'm going to teach you without a capo because it's just easier for explaining. So we have G major to E minor, C to G. The song is mostly based around those four chords. We're going to play some melodic information in there. Okay, so all we're doing is playing the melody on top of those chords. So we have open G there, and then we have B, C, B, and then the melody is G, E. Really slowly. Okay, so we're fingering the G in that specific way. We have the ring finger on the low third fret of the low E string, and then the middle finger on the second fret of the A string, and then we do have the pinky up here on the high. E string third fret, but we're not really playing the pinky. You can put the pinky there, I should say. We're not really playing it. We're just playing that melody B, C, B. So open B, first fret of the B string. And then we just have a regular E minor chord, but with the right hand, we're trying to get these melody notes to, sit, to stick out. G, open G string. Second fret of the D string. And then I like to play this hammer on. So open D, second fret of the D string, open G to a C chord. And then this little nice move. All that is is I'm playing the low G note with my thumb on the left hand, 
And if you've never done that before, this is not a bad place to start. I think the best chords to start using your thumb on is the F major here, and then a D with an F sharp in the bass. But this one isn't too much of a stretch. So I'm just playing these notes. Third fret of the low E string for the, the thumb. Open D, second fret of the G string, third fret of the B string and then we're hammering on well, we're not hammering on but we're going from that second fret of the G string to the fourth fret of the G string once more isn't that a great move bit of a backbeat if you want. I want to get funky with it. We repeat that. And then we go. So we do that same hammer on. And we just go C to G. It's kind of, that's the rhythm. So from the top. Come up an octave. This is a little bit more advanced, but it's not too difficult. So this is a chord that's found in Blackbird by the Beatles. You can do it like that. I should do it with just two fingers. So I'd have the first finger on the tenth fret of the A string. And then open D, open G, and then pinky on the 12th fret of the B string. And it's going up to the 13th fret, down to the 12th with the pinky. Then we play this chord, which is an E minor chord. A really neat inversion. So we have 7th fret on the A string, 9th fret on the D string, open G, and then 8th fret on the, on the B string. Bit of a stretch. You can play just a regular C chord like that. I find a bar chord more difficult. That's the chord I like to play. So thumb is eighth fret on the low E, and then we have tenth fret on the D string, seventh fret on the G string, and then middle finger on the G note. And then we come to this chord. And if you don't want to play this fancy chord, you can just play B minor seven, A minor seven, C. A very simple version would be something like this from the top. But if you want to play a bit more of an advanced version, you can play something like this. Beautiful melody. We're just 
just going D, C, B on top of that B minor chord, which is just all 7th fret. If that is difficult for you, don't even worry about it. And if you want to play some different riffs over that, you can play. Whatever you want. So there we have it. That's the main groove for people to get ready. It's a great tune to play. Now let's talk about playing some solos over these notes. And as I said, I have a backing track provided for free. Below you can download it or you can it's embedded in the page. You know, if you're on your cell phone, you can just go to the page. Just type your email address in. I won't spam you or anything. And you can you can get the email link and play along to the backing track. And it's in the key of B flat major. So we're going to transpose here. And imagine we're playing with a capo on the third fret. And we're in this key now. sing it. People get ready. There's a train coming. It's picking up passengers close to close. All you need is faith to hear the diesel's humming. Don't need no ticket. You just thank the Lord. I messed up the lyrics a little bit, but that's the tune. Now, I'm going to take the capo off. I'm going to talk about soloing over these chords. Now, we're just in the key of B flat major. And we don't need to play any other notes than B flat major, other than maybe if we want to throw in a little blues, is blues lick. work for a song like this if you if you find just the right moments to get bluesy and so when I play the blues I'm kind of thinking more Mitchellidian more major pentatonic maybe a little bit of chromaticism from the bebop dominant scale uh, check out some of my other lessons on playing the blues if you want to learn more about those but let's talk about this B flat major scale now we all know the major scale at least I'm assuming if you want to improvise over a song like, song like this, you really should be able to play the major scale. So let's say we're in the key of C major. There we have the C major scale. We're just bringing it down to B flat, two semitones down. Another good place to play it is here. position of what many people would think of the G natural minor scale because the B flat major scale and the G minor scale are relative major and minor so we can play G natural minor and we have the same notes as B major so you kind of get two scales for one when you learn the major scale so my advice to you would be to find one little position to play the B flat major scale in, maybe it's here, and just hang there, play along with the backing track, play some licks like this, a few little slides and hammer-ons. It's nice to slide from the second note here. Or slide up to the third. 
do some uh, little embellishments. We're just in one octave of the major scale. And just try to bring as much flavor and passion and beauty to your soloing as you can. Soloing takes practice. We've got to play solos over and over again for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours until we get it to sound the way we hear it in our heads. You want to be able to hear the melody in your head, the soloing melody, and then play it on your guitar. That's the goal. So you might start in one position like that, then expand it to different parts of the fretboard. Maybe you'll play it over that G natural minor shape. Something like this. but you get the point you can kind of branch out as you get more comfortable in playing different positions so another position you might play in is this shape which we began the scale demonstration using let's play a solo using that shape three four some double stops. Now a double stop in a scale is just playing two notes together and you might play the one and the three. That's a, that's a typical way to play double stops. If you play a solo in double stops, it might sound something like this. beautiful sound. Maybe you can try something like playing just on the B string using the B flat major scale. Try one string at a time. That's a great way to do it. it. Almost feels like you're playing slide or something to me. And like I said, it's totally normal to sound like you're playing a scale, to sound like you're really trying to find your way until you've played it enough that you get so comfortable playing these scales. And the major scale is a great one to focus on because it's uh, the founding. It's the foundation of, of popular music. It's really just a, such a useful scale. It's on, in almost every song. So that's all I'm playing when I'm playing Other People Get Ready is the major scale. And I'm throwing in a few bluesy moments. Like bending there from the second. C. 
kind of bend into the minor third. Bit to the major third almost. Bit of BB Kingism. Things like that. But the place to start is the major scale. Play along with the backing track, have fun. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I hope you found this video lesson helpful. This is less of a exact arrangement of this song because I'm improvising. Everything I'm playing in this song is improvised pr pretty much. Even the, the uh, melody within the chords. <laughs> fun with this song. Beautiful tune by Curtis Mayfield. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Apparently 70% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please do hit the subscribe button and ring the bell if you'd like to be notified when I post new videos. Don't forget to download the free backing track and chord chart and check out the tab if you'd like to learn all the exact lyrics I'm playing in my performance version of this song. Take it easy and thanks for watching. All the best with your playing. Among those love